Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be talking about what 2012 has taught me and I'm doing this because I saw it as a trending topic on Twitter and Facebook and also um, Hello KDXO did a video like this and I really liked watching it and I thought it'd be good if I did this one for my viewers. Um, but yeah, let's get started and I'll try my hardest not to ramble. This is my second time filming this because the first one was just too long and stuff like that. So. So I think in the summer um, of 2012, I heard a quote that was like, when was the last time you did something for the first time? And that one was just kind of stirring in me. And that's that quote is a reason why I started this YouTube video, this YouTube channel, excuse me. Um, I not known as the person who's into beauty at my school or just around my community. I'm not the person who's a fashionista, nothing like that. Um, but yet I still love this kind of stuff. I'm bouncing so much, excuse me. Um, I just love this kind of stuff. Like, it's just so much fun for me. And I'd watched YouTube videos for years before I made this channel. And I was just like, why not? Why can't I do it? Like, what? Like, what makes me so unable to do this? And so I went ahead and made a channel. And I think it's one of the best things I've done for myself this year. I have so much fun filming. I can't even say this enough. Um, it's just fun for me and I hope you guys enjoy watching these videos because I love making them and you know that's kind of a quote that I've lived by since I heard it in 2012 and I think it's something that you guys should you know look into when was the last time you did something for the first time if you're a very conservative person who um, you know is not into trying new things just try one new thing in 2013 and I'm sure you won't regret it you'll learn something from it and and you might just like find your passion through it so I definitely recommend living through that quote living by that quote. I also learned that you have to love yourself fully before um, you allow people to really get to know you and these are things that I have learned this year and not mastered so I'm not saying that I like am complete I completely love everything about myself and stuff like that because I don't. Um, there are certain things that I would love to change if I got the chance but it's some things that just make me me and I have to be okay with that. Um, it makes me unique but like Embrace what makes you different. Embrace what, you know, other people might not about yourself because you're living with yourself for the rest of your life. Point blank. So, um, I think that just, you know, spend some time with yourself, get to know yourself, your likes, your, your dislikes, um, the things that make you tick, and it's okay to be a little quirky. I'm not the most normal person ever, you know? I do some crazy things sometimes and I'm okay with that and I'm gonna like find people who really enjoy being around me for that. Don't compare yourself to others, that's one of the things that I've learned this year. Um, it's probably one of the quickest ways to lose your joy, just be you. Um, I find myself comparing myself to other people and every single time I find, my, find myself being so upset because I'm falling short, um, I always think that person is better than me and that's not healthy. Um, you bring something to the table, you have something to offer and just know that, embrace that and um, you know, just know that you're worth something. People love you for you. Um, so you know, if someone has something that you don't have, you have something that they don't have. Just keep that in mind. And that's what I've had to think about a lot this year. Everything is a learning experience. Yes, yes indeed. Um, I learned that the hard way this year. Uh, you know, I tried out for the USA basketball team. I had made it the year, not this year, but last year, and then this year I didn't make it, and that was a learning experience. I had been on both ends of the spectrum at the end of this, uh, at the end of the tryout, because one year I made it, the next year I didn't, and it was really hard for me. Um, you know, it happened for a reason, and it was a learning experience. Like, I have to get better at basketball in order to make that kind of team or stuff like that. Like a lot of people make excuses, like, oh, it's politics, it's this, it's like, you know, sometimes maybe you're just not good enough. And that was, that's in my mind what happened. Um, I just wasn't what they were looking for and I have to get better. And so that was a learning experience for me. I have plenty other ones that I could share, but that's for a later date. I've learned that confidence is really, really important. You know, you cannot do something to the best of your ability um, and give 100% effort if you're not fully confident in yourself. And also I've learned that if you're not confident in yourself, other people can be confident in you. Like. It's really hard to like get people on your side if you're not already on your own side, if you know what I'm saying. So just, you know, believe in yourself and be confident in yourself and things will fall into place. It's really, really important. It's one of the most important things to just be able to believe in yourself um, and that'll help your self-esteem. And 
just again, this is not something I've mastered, this is just something I learned this year. I'm not the most confident person, I'm working on it. And I had a couple, I have a couple more, or I had a couple more, but um, I'm about to run out of battery, so this is my last one. Just to relax. I'm very type A. I'm always like ready to go and like, you know, have to be doing something, have to be like going full speed. But, you know, sometimes that's not what you need. Sometimes it's okay to just take a break, to take some time off, to just relax, and things like that. So that's what I've learned. Um, these are all the things that I've learned for 2012 and I've like I really appreciate all these lessons. It's helped me become a better person this year. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please comment down below on the things that you've learned and I will see you next time. Bye.